everybody, New World Shogun here. I am your host, and welcome to another commentary video. Guess what time it is? No, it's not story time, unfortunately. <laughs> a little trello antics for you, because I know I start every story time episode like that. Today I have a Q&A for you. A little Q&A video. This was the Q&A that I was going to do for a 200 subscriber special video, where I was going to donate blood to Red Cross, and I was going to do a live commentary answering questions given to me by my subscribers. If you remember in a previous video, I said I had to make a new appointment to donate blood because when I made the appointment and I went to it, they told me I couldn't donate blood if I had an illness the same week as the appointment. So I have to make a new appointment for the blood donation. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for that video yet. But for now, I'm going to do this Q&A over some Skyrim, as you can see. This uh, Skyrim video is part of my Misadventures of series where I dungeon crawl into the random caves in the world of Skyrim, seeking out adventures and riches while defeating the evils that lurk in the darkness deep beneath the earth. Oh, wow, I'm not sure where that came from. <laughs> I probably should do some voiceovers or something for some movies or games or something, I don't know. Anyway, let's get into the Q&A. Now, if you, are a, if you are a subscriber that has, uh, has their own YouTube channel, uh, I will post a link to your YouTube channel as an annotation on the screen as I read your questions as well as a link in the description below. If you are watching this, please visit some of these channels, support your, your smaller YouTube channels, be a part of the YouTube community by supporting each other. It helps each and every one of us grow as we support each other. And with that being said, let's move into the first question. First question is from SR Productions 23. 27. How long have you been growing your goatee for and why did you decide to grow one? I've had my goatee since uh, a year ago, uh, but I usually run around with a full beard. I've had a full beard since I was like 16 years old. I'm a hairy kind of guy, but I've been growing, going with the goatee uh, for about a year now. The, the lady friend loves the goatee, so I try to make her happy. I didn't really decide to grow one. It just kind of happens, you know, when you shave, it grows back. I'm a lazy bastard. I don't feel like shaving. So there you go. Thanks for the question. Next question is from Rated M for most. What blood type are you? Uh, this is, happens to go with the blood donation video that I was going to have. Um, I don't know. I was going to ask that when I showed up for the blood donation. I'll, I will get back to you on that most when I make the appointment for my next one. Next question is from Sniping Raccoon. If you could create a score streak from any FPS game, what would it be and what would it do? I would create the easy button. You would press here to win because that seems to be the way games are going for the FPS genre. People don't want to work for a win. They want everything handed to them. So why not give them the easy button? Press here to win. That's just the way I see it. Kevin Barnes, my question is, if you hit 1,000 subs, would it change you? No, no, it wouldn't change me. I'd still be the same person. I really don't have much of an ego. I'm really down to earth, level-headed. I only do this kind of stuff for fun. Uh, it doesn't matter if I have 1,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers, a million subscribers. It, I would not change. I would still bring you the same person each and every time. Thanks for asking, Kevin Barnes. I appreciate the question. Mr. Apocalypse asks, If you were Mr. Vandahar, how would you save face and gain the respect and trust of the COD community by performing one action only? Well, if I was Mr. Vandahar, I would probably get on there and apologize and admit that I fucked up and my game is a piece of shit. And I would probably, I don't know, give away DLCs for free. Most of all, I think just admitting that your game is junk would probably go over pretty well but to make it up I'd probably give DLCs away why not right that's me I know that's not gonna happen I know Mr. Vandahar is not gonna do that but that's my answer thanks Mr. Apocalypse I appreciate the question X smash X 88 X do you love me yes I love all my friends thank you I have nothing but bro love and sis love and all kinds of love to pass around for all my friends and subscribers thanks for asking smash Slick JC1. My question is simple. Where did you come up with the name New World Shogun? Well, I kind of touched that on a, another video called uh, What's Behind a Name, where I tell you where I came up with the name, but I'll give a kind of brief rundown. I love Japanese history, uh, especially during the feudal era of Japan, during the time of samurais and samurai lords and all that. And uh, I also got it from a band called Clutch, who has a song called A Shogun Named Marcus. And in the song, they have the lyrics, I'm a New World Samurai. And I just kind of changed the one word, and New World Shogun was born. Thanks for asking. P from the O asks, how long have you been on YouTube, and have any so-called big channels given you any pointers? I've been uh, on YouTube for probably four or five years, just using it as a tool to watch videos. 
I haven't done anything with my channel up until about a year ago when I started uploading my first videos. And they were just kind of random videos with music that you could just kind of switch out the audio on YouTube with songs that they would suggest. And I haven't done commentaries up until about five months ago. So that's pretty much it. And big channels giving me point as fuck? No, no one gives a shit about us small channels. I, I reached out for bigger channels and they don't give a shit about small channels. They either ignore me or whatever. I've, I've even just asked, not even asked about pointers, just saying, hey... How's it going? Blah, 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 blah. Ask a simple question and they still don't answer. They don't give a shit. So no, no, no pointers from big channels. Sorry, P. Uh, filthy view whore, would you rather have sex with Rosie O'Donnell for 30 minutes or suffer through 56k dial-up internet for the rest of your life? That's easy. Sex with Rosie O'Donnell for 30 minutes. It's only 30 minutes and I'm having sex. Pretty easy. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you for the question. Cam's asked, what made you start doing YouTube and where do you see your channel in a year? I started doing YouTube to show my friends and clanmates uh, amazing moments that would happen during gaming. I went out and got an HTTP VR, uh, got tired of just being like, wow, did you see that? And there'd be no one around to see it. So I started capturing videos and posting them so my friends could see it. I wasn't really doing the commentary thing at the time. It was just me and my friends. I had like 15 subscribers when I started. And it kind of grew from there. And uh, where do I see my channel in a year? Probably the same, just more subscribers, hopefully. Don't really see much changing. I'm going to continue to bring content, and uh, hopefully people like it, and I get more subscribers. Maybe I'll have over a 1,000, hopefully, in a year. Thanks for the question. Next question is from Jendrever82. Would you like to do YouTube full-time? Of course. Fuck yeah. Who wouldn't want to do full-time YouTube? It's better than working, right? Who wants to work a 9-to-5 when you could do YouTube all day, play video games, upload videos, Hills to the yeah. Thanks, Jen. Thanks for the question. Wu Shogun asks, how long have you been a Celtics fan? Well, I've been a Celtics fan pretty much my whole life, as far as I can remember. I'm from New England area, so uh, I'm a fan of the Boston Celtics, Boston Bruins, Boston Red Sox, New England Patriots. So those are all my home teams. Been a fan a long time, as far as I can remember. Thanks for the question, Wu Shu Shogun. Two, one, two in the house. Wu Shogun. Tipple Fish Nemo asks, she's got a couple questions here. What's your dream job and passion? Well, I had my dream job. I was a musician for many years. Uh, that's what I used to do for work. Kind of retired when I had children and wanted to spend time with them. So I gave that up. Kind of going into uh, radiology in the medical field now. So that's what, where my passions are kind of going. And uh, just doing YouTube for, for the hobby. And the next question, basically, what are your other hobbies besides YouTube and gaming? Well, I, I love the fish. I'm a game, I'm a outdoorsman. I'm pretty much a survivalist. I like to camp. I like to fish. You know, uh, that's just kind of what I do. I love the Zen part of of fishing, the quietness, the peacefulness that lets you rethink uh, uh, things while you're fishing. I don't even care if I catch anything. It's just the action of fishing is really nice. That's kind of my other hobby. Uh, what's the best thing about doing YouTube, and what's the worst? Best thing about YouTube is the community, meeting new people, uh, meeting new people such as yourself, Tipple. And uh, what's the worst part? I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. Um, probably the bad side of the community where it's, uh, you know, you got people that don't really know how to network and who just want you to check out their stuff without ever giving you a chance. That's probably the worst part, I think. Do you think that some people who have made it deserve, are deserving of their place? Probably not. Some people I see that get partnered on YouTube probably don't deserve it. They, I check out their channels. I check out their videos. They're garbage. I don't understand why they get partnered. I mean, obviously someone has one video that has a cer certain amount of views that gets them partnered, but after that, you can see that their videos are just garbage. They only pull in a small percentage of views from their subscriber base. What do you think that are the bad areas of the community these days? Probably networking. I don't think people know how to network. I don't think they know how to network properly. Um, I always try to make relations before I try to get people to check out my stuff and I think a lot of people try to do the whole stepping stone, try to step on people to try to become famous on YouTube. I think that's the, the, the worst part of it. And the last question, and, and if you're listening to this, if you made it this far, I want anyone who's listening, I want you to answer this question. This is a great question. And you can change it if you're a female. It's fine. So your girlfriend and mother, or your boyfriend and father, uh, so your girlfriend and mother switch bodies. The only way to switch them back is to have sexual relations with them. Mid-climax, they switch back. Who do you fuck? I thought about this, and I'm going to go with my girlfriend. Because even though it's my girlfriend's body and my mom's inside is a personality, I can at least tell my mom to shut up. Let me do my business for th 
whatever amount. I'll try to bust a nut as fast as possible <laughs> and uh, get my girlfriend back immediately. And then after that, I can cuddle all I want with my girl. Yeah. Thanks for asking, Tip. Uh, the next question is from Cold as Life. What are your, some of your favorite bands of all times and some of your favorite recent bands? Favorite bands of all times, hard to say. Um, I grew up in the 80s, listened to a lot of metal. I still do. Just to name a few, maybe Megadeth, Iron Maiden, King Diamond, Merciful Fate, Clutch, Alice in Chains, just to name a couple. But I really don't have favorites because I don't try to do favorites because I feel it takes away from other bands that could be my favorite from day to day. Some of my recent bands, I really don't know what's out there right now. I haven't really been following music since I retired from music. Um, if you have any suggestions, Cold, I'd appreciate it. Um, let me know. Put them in the comments below. Let me check out some bands that you might know. I'd love to uh, check them out. Thanks for the question, Cold. Appreciate it, brother. Uh, Virtual War TV asks, where am I from? I'm from Maine, New England area. I guess that's as simple as that, right? <laughs> Thanks, Virtual War TV. I appreciate the question, brother. Love your channel. Resident Clown asks, who let the dogs out? Who? 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 Who let the dogs out? Smash did. Smash, you can ask Smash about that, because I think Smash let the dogs out, brother. <laughs> that's the best I can answer that question. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Last question. Uh, Vanilla Gorilla asks, and this is a big question, but I'm going to do a combination here. How long have you been playing shooters, and what is your favorite shooter of all times? In your opinion, what is the most important aspect of playing a shooter that would be helpful with someone like me that's average get better? Is it loadout, study the maps, communication, understanding the choke points, map layouts, or is it a combination of things? Well, that's a good question. Um, first off, let's break it down. How long have you been playing shooters? I've been playing shooters for well over 20 years, I think. My first shooter was Wolfenstein 3D. Our first online shooter was Counter-Strike. Uh, the first Counter-Strike. My favorite shooter of all time is probably Counter-Strike. Uh, that was my crack back in the day. I would play that game from the moment I woke up till the moment I went to sleep and anything in between. And uh, that was probably my favorite. Um, what is my opinion about important aspects of shooters that would help someone? I actually touched base on this on a video. Studying and practice slowing your roll sometimes because um, let me break that down for you. Studying. Basically, back in the day, I used to record and I used to re-watch the things that I did wrong that would get me in trouble, get me killed, and I tried to correct myself. So I would study what I did and I would try to correct the mistakes that I made. I also used to study maps just so I can get an idea of how the map layout was. You kind of get a feel of where people like to hide. The other thing is practice. Practice like anything. If you do it enough, if you do something enough, you're going to get better at it play enough while playing a bass like I used to do. Uh, the more I played, the better I got. Same with video games, same with anything in life. The more you practice at it, the better you're going to get. As far as like loadouts, uh, studying the map, communication, things like that, the loadout, I don't really think that really helps you get better. I think what it is is that you find something that you feel comfortable with and you roll with that. Someone else's loadout is not going to help you. If, um, what one works for one person isn't necessarily going to work for another person. So loadout, although it has something to do with it, really doesn't really play into the factor of getting better. I think you just got to find something that works for you and just kind of go with that. Again, studying the maps, sure. Yeah, definitely studying, as I said. Communication, great. Yes, if you have a great team, that definitely helps improve your game. As long as you have a good team that communicates, you're going to do a lot better. Uh, understanding choke points on map layouts, definitely, it all falls under studying. Definitely a combination of everything. I mean, as long as you can pull everything together, um, you're going to get better, regardless. So, just, and like I said, slow your roll. Slow your, slowing your roll is, I know a lot of people love to rush ahead and try to get into battle as quickly as possible, but that, that'll get you into trouble. So, just slow your roll, let people come to you sometimes. And uh, you'll find that your scores will improve. And his last question from Vanilla Gorilla is, what's your favorite adult beverage you like to drink while making people rage quit? I like Sam Adams beers. I like the lineup. That's my favorite kind of beer to drink. I also like Jägermeisters. I drink scotch. I drink whiskey, regular alcohols. But I, I prefer to drink beer. Non-alcoholic, just to say, uh, I drink either water, Gatorade, or ginger ale. I don't like sodas. Ginger ale is the only carbonated drink that I like. Outside of that, those are the only things I drink, really. So, 
Thank you, everybody, for sending in questions. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A. My name is New World Shogun. I've been your host. Thanks for watching. And remember this, PTFO, or die trying. Peace. Ah!